Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Arteriovenous malformations, AVM. Introduction. An arteriovenous malformation, or AVM, is a tangled knot of blood vessels. It interferes with the blood circulation in an organ. AVMs can happen anywhere, but AVMs in the brain or spinal cord cause the most problems. The greatest danger of an AVM is hemorrhage. Hemorrhage means an escape of blood from a ruptured blood vessel. Treatment is available to try to prevent hemorrhage. This program explains arteriovenous malformations. It covers their causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment options. Blood vessels. Blood vessels carry blood through the body. Blood vessels divide into smaller arteries. These smaller arteries then divide into capillaries or very small blood vessels. AVMs happen when arteries and veins get tangled. As a result, arteries may connect directly to the veins without passing through the smaller vessels. Sometimes an AVM causes the blood vessels to balloon. The word aneurysm describes this condition. An aneurysm may cause a blood vessel to break open or rupture. When a blood vessel breaks open, it causes bleeding. Arteriovenous malformations. Arteriovenous malformations, also known as AVMs, are defects of the circulatory system. A person may develop them in the womb before birth or soon after birth. AVMs can develop anywhere in the body. If an AVM develops anywhere other than the brain or spine, it rarely causes major health problems. AVMs located in the brain or spinal cord have the most noticeable effects on the body. However, most people with these types of AVMs experience few, if any, significant symptoms. AVMs are most often found either at autopsy or during treatment for an unrelated disorder. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Risk factors The exact cause of AVMs isn't known. However, certain factors may raise your risk for having an AVM. These are known as risk factors. Having a risk factor for a disease or medical condition does not mean that you will develop it. Some people with risk factors never develop problems. Sometimes people with no risk factors develop a disease or medical condition. Some people are born with an AVM. This is more common in men and people who have a family history of AVMs. Symptoms Many AVMs do not have any signs or symptoms. Brain AVMs, or the aneurysms associated with them, may create increased pressure in the brain. The pressure can cause headache, blindness, seizures, weakness, other neurological symptoms. Blood flow in a brain AVM is very high. This may cause blood to go to the AVM rather than the surrounding tissue. This is known as steel phenomenon because the AVM steals blood that is needed by the surrounding tissue. In the brain, it can cause stroke-like symptoms. Complications Most people with AVMs experience few, if any, symptoms or complications. Some types of AVMs are more likely to create complications. AVMs located in the brain and spine are more likely to cause problems. With an AVM, blood flows from the arteries directly into the veins, bypassing the capillaries. Because there are no capillaries available to slow down blood flow, AVMs put a lot of pressure on the blood vessel walls. The walls may stretch like a balloon. This can result in a large weak spot in the wall called an aneurysm. AVMs can also lead to a brain hemorrhage, which is the escape of blood from a damaged blood vessel. A tiny hemorrhage may cause a small amount of damage to nearby tissues. It is unlikely to cause noticeable symptoms but a larger hemorrhage can cause damage. 
When blood doesn't flow normally through the capillaries, brain cells may not get enough oxygen from the blood, leading to brain damage. This can cause symptoms like those of a stroke. It can lead to weakness or numbness and problems with speaking, vision, or balance. AVMs can enlarge as you get older. If a brain AVM becomes larger, it may move or put pressure on parts of the brain. This can stop the normal movement of fluid in different areas of the brain. The fluid may press against the brain tissue. This is a condition known as hydrocephalus. Diagnosis Most AVMs in the body go undiagnosed and do not cause a problem. Your healthcare provider will do a physical exam and ask you about your symptoms. More tests may be requested depending on the results of the exam. Imaging tests are often used. These tests can show areas inside of the body. Some tests your healthcare provider may recommend to diagnose AVMs include cerebral arteriography, also known as cerebral angiography, computed tomography, also called a CT, magnetic resonance imaging, also called an MRI. During cerebral arteriography, also called a cerebral angiogram, a healthcare provider sends a narrow tube called a catheter through an artery in the groin to the brain. Dye is sent through the tube while x-rays are taken. This allows the provider to see the flow of blood through the brain. A CT scan takes pictures using x-rays. If dye is sent through a vein, it is called a CT angiogram. An MRI takes pictures of the brain with a large magnet and radio waves. Treatment Treatment for AVMs depends on where the AVM is located as well as its size and symptoms. Some symptoms can improve with medications, but brain AVMs are best treated with either surgery or radiosurgery. Radiosurgery uses beams of radiation sent through the skull to destroy the AVM. There are no incisions involved. This treatment damages the AVM so that it closes by itself within one to three years. During that time, the brain is not protected from the risk of bleeding. Radiotherapy also has possible risks. It could lead to strokes. Surgical treatment is the only treatment that immediately takes care of the problem and decreases the chances of a future bleed. Endovascular embolization is a procedure where a healthcare provider guides a catheter from a vein in your leg to the site of the aneurysm. They then send coils or other substances into the aneurysm to block blood flow. This is usually done in combination with surgery or radiosurgery. The aim of surgical treatment is to take out the AVM and clip any associated aneurysms if present. The clip on the aneurysm isolates the aneurysm from the bloodstream, allowing it to shrink to its normal size. This prevents further bleeds and takes the pressure off the surrounding tissue. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary Arteriovenous malformations, or AVMs, are defects in your circulatory system. An AVM is a tangled knot of arteries and veins. It interferes with the blood circulation in an organ. AVMs can happen anywhere, but the ones located in the brain or spinal cord can cause health problems. The exact cause of AVMs isn't known. Some people are born with an AVM. This is more common in men and people who have a family history of AVMs. Brain AVMs, or the aneurysms associated with them, may press against the brain, causing blindness, seizures, weakness, other neurological symptoms. Most AVMs in the body go undiagnosed. Sometimes a diagnosis can be made using some type of imaging test, such as a cerebral arteriography, CT scan, or MRI. Treatment for AVMs depends on where the AVM is located, as well as its size and symptoms. Some symptoms can improve with medications, but brain AVMs are best treated with either surgery or radiosurgery. Thank you for using Explain.